day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Yes, that's the point. That is the point. And that's what people see. You still in bondage. You say you come to Christ, but you're still in bondage. You're still being controlled by the flesh. You're still being controlled by people. And you're still trying to please people. Opposed to pleasing them. You don't understand who you are in Christ. That's the problem. And that's why I think as far as equipping the saints to the work of ministry is to let them know who they are. You, as a matter of fact, you think about it, how can a person be effective ministering to people? I mean, you go out, go out there and try to bring people to light if they despise them. Yeah. What, what is that? <laughs> that? That's like you going to the doctor because you, you're sick and he's talking about you like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> he's bringing up all kinds of reasons why he should do what he needs to do for you. Why? <laughs> and you supposed to trust this man. Man, my mom was talking about this yesterday. Was uh, when she when uh, is she talking about black people? <laughs> and it's probably why it's too, but the blacks in this particular case, they they went to the, to give birth. When she she was giving birth to, uh, she had five children, but she said that those nurse. You know when those people be screaming and stuff? This is what they said. Well, you all screaming when you was doing all that, all that stuff that got you this way, didn't you? <laughs> you, 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 you didn't. Yes, I don't know what she said. There was no sympathy uh, with the nurse concerning the, you know, the state of mind those pregnant women giving birth were in. Mm -hmm. She said they were very rude to them. You know, and, and, and to the point, my mom said she wouldn't say nothing. You know, she'd just go ahead and just just wait to her turn and give birth to her children and go home. But she could hear these the the the, the, the non sympathetic uh, attitude that those uh, nurses were doing. And I'm saying I think that's why I find out a lot of kids with people is the same thing. They they don't they just don't recognize that the blessing of God, the mercy of God, is supposed to be given to every man. So that's what I got. I wanted to cover you with is the fact is, A, some of us don't know who we are. <laughs> and then B, some of them mad because they feel they've been doing, acting like a servant. And yet you're gonna sit there and accept some, some prostitute coming in, some, some racist guy coming in, some, <laughs> What, what, whatever they done, and like you say, you been, you you gave a big scenario, Hitler. And if Hitler turned his life over to Christ some kind of way at the end, we're gonna be angry when we get to heaven because you see, <laughs> what what are you gonna tell God? <laughs> <laughs> you killed the love. I mean the the the, the cat for this man. <laughs> you had a party for this man? Have you rejoiced because of this man? Mm. Ooh. And you put a big one up there too. Because that's probably that's probably one of the good examples of how people feel about other people coming to the body of Christ. And that's how you can feel that the dark age came. Where you know where they burnt people. I mean, I don't know. You said you spent that that uh, uh museum called Ripley, believe it or not, too, right? Yeah. Did you go down where the torture chains were? Uh, I don't think so. It's what it was. It was the last floor. And they were showing like. Did, uh, you talked about the, the upside down house, right? Well, I don't know. It was. It was a torture. It was all the different tools they used, in, especially during the Spanish Inquisition, where they stretch a person. You know, like some of the tools like this, where they they stretch them. Mm -hmm. Live. Or they put the one that I thought was famous was you, you remember the one where they it's like a 
It looked like a, a, a casket or something. Oh, and had a spike on the inside? Yeah, spikes on it. And, 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 oh, and you had to, you, you, you were, it wasn't touching you. Is that you stay there long enough, you're going to actually stop. You're going to yeah. die slowly because you can't keep standing up. Stand from, from stabbing yourself. Woo! That evil? Yeah, those, those are the bottom, that bottom. Or, or really, I tell you, I tell you, burn somebody alive, too. Um, I think that was evil. Oh, yeah. You know, it, I know there's things that, that were done to humans, man, that just, Woo! you know, and, they, they, were, they would be rich. They, there's just no other, other way. That, that was, that was, uh, the mind. That, that's mind. all the yeah. system. You know, yeah. to give yourself over to Satan in such a way to where you would do another soul mm. and take pleasure in it. Yeah. You know, what, who, who, who does that? I know what, that's what I'm saying. Even when a mob forms and, and they want to hang or lick somebody, it's like, you don't even know what the man did. And yet you you have a, uh, what they call a mob party to go in and kill these people. What are you doing Black Wall Street? What, what, what all these people are happy about killing kids and children, you know? Or men, mm -hmm. to you, true. So that, that, that's all I want to be able to pass on today, man, is just, it's just that we, we need to take on, to people listening, the whole point is take on the pattern of Christ, not the pattern of man. And then for the body of Christ, don't take on the pattern of this world, take on the pattern of Christ. Amen? Amen. All right, what, what I'm, I'd like to close out with the communion, so I want you to see if you can get your, you know, we, can we get ready to leave, right? We're going to another year. <laughs> right? Yeah. I think we should. I think we should do a community. So, so. Right. Amen. <laughs> Look, the next community is a year away. <laughs> it's a year away. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> well, that's not. It's, it's next year. <laughs> it's next year. Yes, sir. Not a year away. It's next year. Yes, sir. <laughs> So your turn. Go ahead and bless this bread for us. I wanted, I wanted to, to read this in uh, First Corinthians. Okay. It says, says, when you come together, therefore, in one place, this is not to eat. This is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For eating, everyone taken before other his own self. And one is hungry, and another is drunken. So this is not what we're doing. We're not doing this because because we're hungry or we just need to be drinking wine. Because Amen. That's, that's not the purpose. Um, but we're doing this because it is to remember Christ. Yes. Okay. So we're going to take this, this cracker. It represents the Lord's body. This is what's broken for us. And so we're going to do this in remembrance of that. What was yes. done for us, that his body, his physical body, yes. was on our behalf, mm. was utterly broken, just mm. dismembered, and suffered yes. a penalty that we deserve. Because he loved us. Yes. And he dubbed his father and did the will of his father. So this we do. We break and we eat in remembrance of Jesus Christ. Amen. Great. Then he took a cup and his cup represented the New Testament which came through his blood yeah. that was good. He 
because it is only by yes. the shedding of blood. Only. That this new covenant could yes. be accepted. It was the fulfillment of the old mm. and the end, end, end of this new covenant. Yes. One that establishes us as children mm. of the my God. One that engrafts us into the very substance that flowed through mm. Jesus. Yes, Lord. One that made us joint heirs. Wow. With Christ. Mm. And so we take this cup. Yes. And we in remembrance of that awesome, awesome gift that was given to us. Yes. And we drink. Amen. So this is done in the remembrance of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. That is amazing. Even when we talk about that prodigal son, that fattest calf was killed for those those sons, that son, the really sons that that did ride this living, sinners, mm -hmm. no good for nothing. Why are you even doing it? And God said, because they were dead, yeah. and now they were alive, yeah. and found. Come on, man. This out. That party ushered in a new covenant for both sons. Mm. That's what it did for both. For both sons. Yes, sir. Yeah. Both exposed to a covenant that was given to both of them. Yes. A dispensation of life from that point forward was mm. offered in both. For the older son had it and didn't know it. Mm, mm, mm. And the older son lost it. And gained it back. And got it back. Right. Because, you know, that what I'm saying is that if you tie it in from a big picture of Genesis 128, let us give them dominion. Yeah. Okay, they messed it up. All right, let me go ahead and do a covenant, a, a, a new testament, a new covenant with Abraham, who was not under the law. Yeah. And then we're going to sit there, okay, let me fix this for them. I'm going to send Moses with the law yeah. to be a schoolmaster. Then he said in Genesis, I mean Galatians 3, there's neither Jew nor Greek, there's neither male nor female, there's neither bond nor free, but they are all one in Christ Jesus. Christ. And if they are in Christ, then they are heirs, heirs, according to the promise yeah. see amen not, not, not any promise other than the one that was given yes yeah that's what he's saying and that's why heaven rejoices see i mean it's all there it's all those packages there so i just where well, i'm gonna let you go uh uh let's pray let's pray out you want to pray out sure i can pray out well, Father, we truly, truly thank you once again, Lord God. You brought us to the celebration of what we use mm. to celebrate your son, Jesus Christ. Yes. The birth of your son. Lord God, it was an awesome occasion. So awesome that you did wonders mm. to usher him in, Lord God. You, you had solar systems in line for such an occasion. You had kings, Lord God to represent and to usher him into this room. Yes. Lord God, but you sought not to lift him up so high so that he could not be touched mm. by man, but you put him into a low state of being in the birth into a stable, Lord God. Yes. And you raised him up from that point 
to be the most important human yes. born of a woman in this reign. Yes. So we thank you, Lord God, that we recognize that this was the ushering in of your son in human form to bring us to the point that we are at now. Yes. And we go in honor and praise for that, Lord God. We thank you for this time that we have in this particular setting, in this format, Lord God, that your word is so powerful that it, it is not constrained mm. by a church, by a building. Come on. Mm. By being in person, Lord God. But the advancement of man by you mm. has made it so that we can be in our home for that. Yes. And that the Holy Spirit can move past time and space and distance and bring us together as though we were in one place, Lord God. And that your word is made perfect in us. Yes. That the Holy Spirit has brought revelation. That you are in the midst of it, Lord God. And so we thank you. We thank you for the revelation that was found in your word today. We thank you that we have a deeper understanding of the parable or the story of the the. the the prodigal sons, yes. or the man, the two sons, and that it was the father that mm. we need to focus on, not the sons, <laughs> but the father. Woo. But that we learn from the sons, yes, because we can find ourselves in such space. Yes. So we give you glory and honor and praise for that, Lord God. So we yes. know that it is nothing. That is of us, but yes. that the truth that is found in your word makes us free. Yes. So we declare and we decree that we are free, mm. Lord God, of the issue that the two sons have. Yes. And that we are establishing ourselves in the pattern of that father. That yes. love is the key. That love conquers all. Oh. And that we love one another, Lord God, as you would have us to. Thank you. Shall we come again in this format, Lord God? We pray that you are ever with us, perfecting us each and every moment, Lord God, that you are so ever before us that we decrease, Lord God, and you increase. Yes, that Jesus Christ is represented as he would have himself to be in our life. Yes. And so we decree it, we declare it, and we expect it. And these things we say in your son's Jesus name. Amen. 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 All right, good brother. We have a hey look. Have a happy new year. See you next year. Yeah. I can't wait to see you next year. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>